Are you being shy? Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living, and uh, today I'm just going to have a talk with you today. And one of the main subjects that seems to always come up is, uh, why is the sun always in my face? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have it. So anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about making money on your homestead, on your farm, and I'm going to talk in the small scale version because folks with a lot more acreage and stuff can do uh, some uh, very unique things like uh, raising starters, selling them at uh, uh, farmers markets and things. I'm kind of going to take the scale down because there's a lot of new homesteaders out there. And so uh, uh, I can, I can kind of tell you some of the things we do um, and it actually is indirectly affected from our country living uh, lifestyle. Uh, one is you've always noticed at the beginning of our video we have a product that we designed a year ago called the Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Now a lot of people may have products or things that they make. Uh, maybe they manufacture some kind of art or maybe uh, you did get into Amazon FBA like I am and created your own product in a, on a large scale. And uh, so every time we do a video, we have a chance to expose our product. And uh, uh, along with, you know, regular advertising and uh, internet marketing uh, and making ads and things like that for our product, um, we have, a, because we have a YouTube channel, uh, we can expose our product just a little bit more. Um, so you can see that... Uh, I'm going to talk about that you, you is if you're not too shy and maybe you can think you can pull yourself out of it because once you do this video stuff you get kind of used to it and, and uh, you kind of start picking up um, a rhythm so I'm going to say one of the ways that you could get started in a small scale is get a YouTube channel started and get used to uh, putting your face in front of your uh, uh, of a camera and some of the great channels out there are not using cameras like I'm holding a GoPro but most people they'll just use their phone and and that works just great and then others uh, they start stepping it up with better equipment better sound uh, I particularly like the GoPro because uh, this kind of lifestyle and traveling we did a lot of RV travel things are uh, really happen fast sometimes you want a camera you can grab and uh and is rugged and you can drop it a few times and get it wet and stuff like that so the gopro has been our go-to camera but our main camera our good camera is a canon g40 but i'm i'm not really staying on subject here too much but um uh so youtube is a good way to start now unfortunately as you know, some of us have been on YouTube for a long time. We got monetized a long time ago, and we didn't have to go through the rigmarole that it takes to get your a channel monetized. You just got to have faith and realize it's a hard, hard to start and hard to keep the faith, but you just got to keep plugging along. Um, our channel, if you talk about the channel, I'm going to talk about other things too, so hang in there, guys. Um, we started out with RV travel, which was very popular, and we did very well with that. But uh, as time goes, goes on, we stopped doing the RV travel and uh, did some miscellaneous things with gardening. Um, and then uh, eventually, now that we've finally bought some acreage and stuff, um, our main subject is homesteading, country living, um, uh, living simple, and preserving food and prepping, which is very popular. Uh, so you do want to make sure you're involved in a, a subject that is popular <laughs> so it will affect how fast your channel will grow but uh, you know i've watched uh for example uh some of the great ways to make i i think one of the best ideas i've heard with people that have chicken and eggs is 
You're not going to make money selling eggs. You can redeem some of your cost. And that's always good. Redeeming your cost is a good thing. Um, so uh, one of the guys I listened to, uh, Homesteady, I think it was, came up with a formula that actually I think would work well. Is Let's say you uh, want to make money with your chickens, or at least make sure you're covering every cost of that chicken, and you know eggs are not going to do it. So you can still sell the eggs, but one thing is, let's say you have 15, you, you want to have around 15 chickens for eggs. Well, buy 30, all right? So then make sure they're laying hens. Uh, for example, I bought Rhode Island red females and they all they did turn out to be females. Anyway, so as your chickens get old enough to start laying eggs, just as they get to that mode, sell half of the, your chickens, so buy 30, sell 15 of them to on Craigslist or whatever you have available as ready to lay hens and sell them for like 20 bucks a piece which is so much easier to do uh, people love to get their chickens right away not go through the rigmarole of starting from chicks and from the beginning like we did um, they love to just get their chickens and then like within a month they're laying eggs and they're happy campers and you've gone through uh, all the work of getting them past being chicks, getting them healthy, people will pay 20 bucks. Maybe you could push it to 25. So that's a great way to make money is uh, raising chicks to laying stage. Um, that one seems like a good idea. Um, some of the other things we have is obviously we have our own product. We have our YouTube channel. Uh, we also are, uh, have a radio station called Good Talk Radio. And you say, well, how does this play, how does this sh work with that? Well, some of you guys may see on our channel that we have two radio shows we do on a regular basis is RV Talk Radio, um, which uh, when I launch those are very popular, and Easy Street, which are shows that I actually produce. At, you'll notice that those shows are always a half hour long or always an hour long. That's because they get syndicated on Good Talk Radio. So in turn, I make everything work with itself. So you'll notice in our description, we'll talk about our radio station. You'll realize some of the things we talk about on this channel are on a radio station. So I have a radio station and I make money off my podcast through Spreaker and some other forms of uh, uh, stuff. The other thing you can always do is, um, for free, sign up for Amazon Affiliate. Uh, what a great little way to make some money. When I was not very serious about it, I still made 10 to $20 a month off of it over time, but now it's much more because I have lots of Facebook channels and I have groups and things like that. And that's another thing on the internet. Um, if you get involved in Facebook and maybe even Instagram and some of the others, um, Facebook's my major one, you can create your own groups and stuff like that. And when you're a moderator or the administrator of a group you can do anything you want you just got to control the people joining it but you can put products and things like that from Amazon and you can make a commission off of Amazon so now I average 25 to hundred dollars a month doing hardly anything it's that residual income which is really cool um, so those are great ways to get started to make some money on a small homestead or country or off-grid living life and of course there's a dozens of things you can do um, on your farm um, depending on how much work you want to do and then what kind of energy you have and your age and all that stuff so there's people that you know raise pigs sell their pigs and stuff but there's another thing to say about maybe you don't make money off your uh, your food that you raise but um, you start stocking your freezer and stuff. Now, uh, it's been, everybody knows that you probably can't make your food as cheap as it is at a grocery store. But there's something to say about having quality food and quantity of food that prevents you from going to the store so much. And when you're not going to the store, you would be amazed at the money that you're not spending because, you know, uh, stores that you go to are designed to be a marketplace to catch your eye to buy things that you probably don't need 
um, when you get self more self-reliant with your food you will save money just in gas alone just in extra things you buy and you start getting more practical uh, it really adds up so maybe you're not making money but you're saving money and spending your money more wisely and in the long run you will be making money uh, that's one way to look at it so uh, uh, you know and if you start a YouTube channel just look for the things that are kind of niche and that people are really interested in if you're going to just do uh, videos about uh, pruning trees that'll go pretty good if somebody's in pruning trees but like a, sh uh, um, a, a station like ours we can uh, we made it broad enough under the Ranger Rob brand of uh, uh, people love pets oh my gosh people love pet stuff so every once in a while we'll make a video about our pets and people love that and I can market those to other channels or other uh, platforms that I can't do for gardening and then uh, so we can uh, push our videos on different subject matters and that's a good way to get your um, channel growing fast instead of being at one subject only um, and of course uh, you got to know in YouTube what are the advertisers um, that are paying the big bucks uh, let's say it's healthcare. well if you have a, a, a channel about health care <coughs> or nursing or something like that you'll get advertisers that are paying more for clicks than say someone that's doing uh, dog supplies they're just paying a very little for clicks um, it all depends you know like if you're doing something that draws lawyers or doctors to your channel um, they have the big bucks and they're paying for the big ads which means your video will draw uh, advertisers that are paying more so that's why everybody's YouTube channel makes more you know, could have the same amount of subscribers but one could be making a lot more than the other it'd be totally equal on subscribers and views but it all depends on what advertisers want to be on your channel try not to spill my coffee so uh, uh, anyway so that's a great way to make money by if, if you're just getting started it's always good to, um, to do like affiliate marketing with uh, Amazon which is completely free <clears throat> uh, having a product that you endorse or maybe finding someone who's got a product that they make um, that is a farm product or a chicken or poultry pr products and go in cahoots with them and maybe they'll pay you a little bit to be a little like at the front of this video do something like I do with the Ranger Rob poopy bags um, is it irritating yeah is it reality yes um, face it you're watching YouTube cha uh, channels now where they're playing two commercials instead of one now and uh, you don't realize it but you're watching more commercials that way than you are when you're watching regular TV um, that's reality and so um, I mean if advertising really bothers you people pay to not um, have advertising but very rare um, the reality is, is in a capitalist society um, we all need advertising um, uh, the pay for what we're doing or product endorsements things like that another thing is make videos of uh, do-it-yourself things or how to uh, or review products people love that um, so you could review products people love the videos and you can put a link to Amazon about that product and make money off the sales of it so uh, yeah there's lots of ways to make money and get started it's not easy at first um, and in depending on the size of your homestead um, there's thing you know you have to kind of look at is there anything I could do with my plants and animals to make money um, and the big thing is if you can get more self-reliant and, and produce your own food produce your own animals or meat you would be surprised even though it's just saving um, your you're filling up your freezers in your refrigerator um, the fact that you're not going to the store all the time is a big cost savings which is like an income so uh, those are just ideas and philosophies that we use here 
Could we do things better? Yes. And as, uh, and of course, we love to hear comments below. Um, uh, we're always looking at new ideas. Yes, everybody's got bills. Everybody's, the stuff's not free. Cameras are not free. Editing equipment. Our podcasting equipment is very expensive. Uh, owning a radio station has a cost. We have to pay for uh, um, music licenses and things like that. Um, the stuff is not free. So it's okay to make money. I know some of you folks would just want to, you know, uh, make videos or do something like that. And if it's just for fun, there's nothing wrong with that. And maybe you have a, an income or a job. But uh, if you're just going to go out to the country, that's why I get kind of confused. I see these people who run out and buy some country land. Is How the heck are they making money? And some of them, I, I kind of told you how they're doing it. But uh, uh, I can tell you it's not a get-rich get thing. Uh, YouTube can be a great income uh, with the right subject and the right education, how to make great videos, how to make good thumbnails, things like that. Uh, I'm probably not a good example of that. But I can always get better, and as I get better, I do see results. And uh, um, so, anyway, I hope that's a helpful video to you of how to make money on a homestead, small homestead, uh, something out in the country. Uh, how do you get out of the city? Uh, yeah, um, the other thing I've noticed <coughs> is, you know, a lot of people. <coughs> sorry. Uh, I cover my mouth back at my coffee. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, now I'm going to lose my train of thought. Well, we've got a lot of people are professionals. I was. I was in the aerospace. My wife is a corporate accounting. And so uh, uh, when you can lower your overhead and, 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 and cover your costs and have your own food and things like that and can lower your overhead, you don't have to have those really high-paying jobs you can start living off less income but you got to have less output so uh and if you see some of these people move into these uh uh watching them build up a homestead and stuff they gotta have a chunk of change to get started because tractors cost money fences cost money buying chicks buying food buying equipment to maintain a farm to get it started you're gonna need to set aside a lot of money to get started and uh, exactly what we did here we bought a place like this you saw in the earlier videos we had to put a new roof on this house we still have to put uh, siding on this house and because you know funds that we got from a house prior to this that we set aside for this purpose along with a lot of equipment you've seen us buy like wood chippers uh, rototillers we have a new uh, uh, drop down saw coming in that's 600 bucks um, that it's coming from money that we set aside to get started and so we're this is a new place for us we knew what we were getting into and we were prepared and uh there'll be more stuff and we're still prepared for that but while we're doing that we're building up our channel we're building up our products we're building up ideas we're doing more podcasting and uh, making uh, um, residual income uh to help us along is it enough to live off of? Not really, but uh, uh, luckily I'm retired now, so I actually have a pension, so that helps us. Um, but uh, other folks are still working with regular jobs and running a homestead. That's why I always say, why do you want to go too far out? Because you may still have to work. Or like in my case, uh, we're under 65, so my wife still works uh, because uh, that's how we get our health care. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope I, um, it gives you ideas. Um, I probably have forgotten some of the other things we do. Uh, we kind of wing it on our videos a little bit. But um, uh, there'll be more videos. Uh, so we ask you to make sure you subscribe, share our videos, like our videos, um, leave us some comments, let the world know about us, become part of our family and, and part of our dialogue every day. We do do, um, been trying to do daily videos, been great so far in, in the first month. Uh, not easy to do daily videos, you have to be regimented. And uh, 
don't be afraid to try this stuff and don't be afraid to get in front of the camera you may be surprised how natural you'll, you, you can do it and you don't have to spend a lot of money on equipment at first and people are fairly forgiving this camera I'm using here makes kind of squeaky noises and and uh, uh, it's wide angle and that you know it's, it's kind of uh, drawbacks but it's practical for what we do every day I can grab this camera and just run out the door and uh, as long as I got a good battery in it I can quickly set it up and catch things um, you know, on the fly um, and then I use my bigger camera for the more oh when you see us do uh, uh, flowers or showing things or ki uh, dogs playing because I can never get the dogs up close doing their funny things I have to use a different camera and then I also have a time-lapse camera called a Brino and uh, so we get catch that's how we catch some of our sunsets and when we were building the chicken pen you saw us do time lapse and stuff. You can do them on GoPros too, but I prefer just have a camera that that's all it does is time lapse. Uh, much easier to work with. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. I want to thank you for watching. Please be safe out there. If you're thinking about moving out to the country, I'd love to hear your comments below, what you're doing, what your hopes and dreams are, uh, your concerns, your ideas, and questions you may have about our channel and our homestead and why we chose to do what we're doing in Central Oregon. Um, there's so many choices. Uh, I just, by the way, I just saw a video of somebody making their own lumber uh, with a chainsaw thing, and uh, oh my gosh, that is way too much work for me. But somebody who's young and energetic and knows how to do that stuff, totally different lifestyle. So you can see how it's different for everybody. What can you do? What are you willing to do? So. Uh, Anyway, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.